in my uh, previous upload I turned this more Taper 4 out of this uh, scrap metal that used to be part of an old bench lathe and uh, now it's time to make it into something uh, useful that uh, fits this uh, flea market uh, drill chuck made by uh, Röhm. But first I want to look into the uh, run out problem I ran into uh, in the uh, previous video. I just might have a uh, solution for it. Just might. I uh, could be wrong. But uh, I do want to try it before I go with plan B. Uh, plan B by the way is uh, punching a reference mark on the side of the uh, arbor and making sure it's always used in the same spindle position. This uh, beautiful drawing represents a cross section of my uh, Chinese lathe spindle. Um, it really is beautiful. Some of my uh, best work. Anyway, uh, notice this uh, ridge here at the end of the uh, internal taper. It is uh, not unthinkable that this edge um, took a hit from uh, inserting a piece of stock material or uh, from punching out a um, taper tool. Um, I am uh, certainly capable of uh, such accidental uh, stupidity. So now I'm going to uh, take a small bit of this uh, taper and hopefully it will uh, fix uh, my problem. I know it's a bit of a gamble but uh, it doesn't hurt to try. Who knows, maybe I get lucky. That's more than enough. Let's go to the uh, Chinese lathe and find out if I got lucky. Position it. And now comes the moment of truth. Well, that's still shit. I guess I'm going with plan B. That's, uh, that's supposed to be a B, as in plan B or B quality. It really doesn't matter as long as there's a mark that I can line up with the uh, O or uh, zero that's on the uh, spindle. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, drill and tap the rear of the arbor so I can uh, fit my drawbar. Drawbar is a fancy name for a uh, piece of all thread with a nut and a custom washer but still it works and that's what counts. I used the uh, tailstock and the dead center to line uh, things up. Now I'm going to fit a drill chuck and uh, start drilling. So, I think that's deep enough. I need to uh, tap this M16. Ooh, pretty warm. And according to the uh, wisdom of the internet, I need a uh, 14 millimeter drill.
that should be enough. I went deeper than the pilot hole. I got a uh, brand new M16 tab from uh, my friends in uh, China. It looks uh, fairly decent, although uh, I did run this uh, diamond hone over these sides here because there were some slight burrs on the uh, cutting edges. But uh, I think it will do fine. Hopefully, I can uh, get it started. I might have to take it out and finish uh, in the vise because uh, I'm not sure how long this uh, chuck will hold on to the uh, tab. It's the taper that broke loose. Yeah, I'll have to take it out and put it in the vise because it's too hard to turn. And there it breaks loose again. Well, the shit has hit the fan again, which is uh, unfortunately pretty common when I do machine work. For some reason, the tab is in the arbor at a slight angle. It might have happened on the lathe. It might also happen when I used this uh, crescent wrench to turn the tab, not sure. But it is uh, pretty stuck and pretty tight in here. I think I should have chamfered the hole before I started uh, the tab. Unfortunately, my biggest stepping wrench doesn't fit, so I'll try to make something uh, myself and uh, then try again, see if I can uh, get this in a bit further. Why spend time making something up if this also works? It's not really comfortable on the hands, but it will get the job done. Nice. That uh, cheap 5 euro Banggood uh, tab did a good job. I should have gotten a uh, plug tab, but uh, they didn't have those. And that's the reason why I drilled a uh, rather deep hole. Maybe a thrust washer wouldn't be a bad idea.
the hole in this chuck is uh, three centimeters deep but there are only three full threads here so one and a half centimeter should be enough having said that I can take off quite a bit from this arbor so I've decided to uh, remove this section and then uh, cut it down for the M18 thread with a 2.5 uh, pitch If I uh, push the tool any harder, the chips go uh, gold and uh, my tool will burn up. I don't think this is a, a very good piece of high speed steel. eighteen point one Just about as rough as a diamond burr. Well, this is not really working for me. And I think I already destroyed the cutting edge. Let's uh, give this a try. Hopefully it is uh, on center. Let's try a higher speed. Although to be honest, the sounds my life uh, makes, I sometimes think it's going to explode. like that. It really doesn't matter. should have marked the uh, starting position on the dial because now I have no idea how deep I'm cutting. A while back I uh, used the carbide inserts for an uh, internal threading job and uh, that worked very well so I'm also switching to uh, carbide inserts for a uh, an external threading job. I think this will have a couple of benefits over my high speed uh, steel tool bit. I no longer have to uh, worry about uh, damaging the uh, pointy bit 
I can just replace the insert. Um, I should also be able to uh, work a little closer to a shoulder which is uh, useful in this case. And I'm also hoping that uh, with carbide I will have uh, less problems with uh, chips welding to the uh, pointy bit because that was pretty annoying with uh, the high speed steel tool bit. Of course I got these uh, from Banggood uh, they cost about 20 euros a little less although that price uh, may have gone up uh, since Mr. Trump started his uh, uh, trade war but I guess that is uh, always better than starting a real war alright let's try this thing out well this is uh, annoying I was going to use the uh, compound set to uh, less than 30 degrees uh, threading uh, method but uh, I'm running the carriage against the headstock and I cannot get any further than this well I guess I will have to uh, plunge the uh, tool straight in I installed the uh, correct change gears and uh, set the lathe to the slowest uh, speed um, let's see if uh, I can somehow screw this up I am a bit worried about running the um, tool into the workpiece or the carriage into the headstock but no turning back now it's hardly visible but there is a scratch there Well, that's a good start. It is the uh, correct pitch. My lathe doesn't have a uh, threading uh, dial, so I will have to keep the half nuts uh, engaged and uh, run the motor in uh, reverse. Let's take a cut. Perfect. Maybe that was a bit much. Hot as well. Well, I'll keep doing this for a while without the camera in my way. I will uh, report back later. Hopefully, not with a uh, catastrophic failure, but uh, well, you never know. So far so good and I must say that these inserts cut a lot easier than my uh, high speed steel tool bit and uh, there are no chips galling up the uh, pointy bit. I think I'm pretty far along. Um, a few more cuts and then I'll uh, test fit the drill chuck for the first time. first test fit it already goes on there further than I expected I think a few spring passes and a bit of filing 
and it should go on there. Usually that means that I'll have to do at least 3-4 uh, more uh, test fittings, but uh, it sure goes in the right direction. It couldn't go any better. Two spring passes, a bit of filing, and it's on there. Best threading job ever. Next I'll uh, run a stone over the register and then I'm pretty much done. That's probably enough. A bit of a clean up on the uh, drill chuck register and I think we should be ready to find out if I did a good job. In other words, let's check the run out. Adding a, a bit of extra shininess before I find out that the uh, run out is shit. Not much uh, slop. Ah, definitely best threading job ever. I still haven't found out what this uh, Allen head screw uh, is for, so if anybody knows, please put it in the comments. Only two uh, holes for tightening things up because of that Allen head. I guess. Uh, now we get to find out uh, if I wasted my time. Hopefully we won't see uh, too much run out on this uh, test piece. I'll set the lathe to uh, the slower speed. I didn't see much uh, movement on the uh, display of the camera, but uh, let's uh, use a test indicator to be sure. That's about a tenth of a millimeter. I think you can call that pretty good. I'm uh, happy with it, and it uh, certainly is better than some uh, Chinese cuts. I tested earlier this year. And that uh, pretty much wraps up this video about how an uh, old lathe part became a usable uh, drill chuck arbor. A uh, very touching story. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, till next time. Better uh, to have it and not need it than uh, the other way around.